Hello everyone, so welcome to another Python tutorial series, and in this video I want to talk about the 3D Sun, Earth, and Moon system animation using the Houston Engine. So a few weeks back I made two solar system animations, animation videos with the Houston Engine, and today I'm going to be making a 3D Sun, Earth, and Moon animation with Houston Engine, and I hope you like it. So let's open up our blank Python file, and let's write from Yersena import star. I'll write app is equal to Yersena app dot run, and that just sets up Yersena. So now let's create our sun entity, and since we're going to create a solar system animation of just our sun, earth, and moon, I want to first create my sun, and my sun is going to be an entity with the model being equal to a sphere. I'm going to set the color equal to color dot yellow and I'm gonna set the scale to 2 and so if I run this we should see that we just created a Sun entity and there you go so now that I've created my Sun I'm gonna create my earth and moon so earth is equal to entity and I'm gonna set the parent of this earth equal to the Sun I'm gonna set the model equal to a sphere I'm going to set the color equal to color.green. I'm going to set uh, the position of the earth to 1 on the x, 0 on the y, and 1 on the z. And I'm going to scale it by 0.4. So I've created my earth. Now I'm going to create my moon. And this is also an entity. And the parent of this moon is going to be the earth. I'm going to set the model equal to a sphere color equal to color dot white the position is going to be 0.5 on the x 0 on the y and 0.5 on the z and I'm going to set the scale for this equal to 0.3 so now we've just created our earth and moon entities and when we create the earth entity we set the sun as its parent entity and when we create the moon entity we set the earth as its parent entity in our previous video, the 3D Pong game, I talked about the parent parameter in entity creation and what it does. So basically, without claiming a parent entity, an entity is automatically assigned to the 3D scene uh, as the parent, and its position is relative to the center of the 3D scene. And when it has claimed a parent entity, like I've just claimed it here, the 3D scene is not the parent entity anymore, and its position is now relative to the parent entity. So now let's create a few, I'm going to create a list that's going to store these entities. So I'm going to have entities, entities, is going to be an equal to empty list. And I'm going to put the sun, earth, and moon inside of this list. So I can write entities dot append sun, entities dot append earth, entities dot append moon and here we just uh, added these entities into this list and next we're going to add an update function to rotate all these entities so I'm going to create an update function here so which is define update and now for entity in this entities list I'm going to rotate each entity. So entity and dot rotate rotation and I'm going to rotate around the y axis plus equal time dot dt multiplied by 100. And so here the rotation is around the y axis and we have a nice we should have a nice side view of the sun, earth and moon rotating. And there you go. And here you see that the uh, Earth is orbiting around the Sun, and the Moon is orbiting around the Earth. And next we're going to add a camera to the scene to have different views of the animation from different positions and angles. So, uh, I have this update function. I'm also going to create an input function, so to find input with a parameter of key. I'm going to check if the key is equal to equal to 1 
So if the user presses 1, I'm going to set the camera position to the side view. So camera dot position is equal to 0, 0, finger 20. And I'm going to set camera dot rotation underscore x is equal to 0. So it's going to rotate around the x axis 0 degrees. And now if key is equal to 2, I'm going to set camera dot position equal to 0, 20, 0. Camera dot rotation x equal to 90. And so if the user presses 2 on the keyboard, it's going to show a, a top view of our system. And if they press key 3, then I'm going to show a tilted view, so a mix between side and top view. And that's going to be camera dot position is going to be equal to 0, 10, negative 17.33. And also camera dot rotation underscore x is equal to 30. And so I'm going to save this and run. If I press 2, now we have a top view of this solar system. If I press 3, we have a tilted view. You see that the Earth is orbiting around the Sun, and the Moon is orbiting around the Earth. And I, when I press 1 again, we go back to a side view. And I could quickly switch between each view like that while this animation is playing. So again, tilted, top, side. And this is the end of this video, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.